Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. That's Grumpy Pants right back there. So if any of you girls are interested in this, this is Grumpy Pants, okay? Just so everybody understands. <laughs> We're on our way to Special Olympics today. Um, it's that time of the year again. And John's going to be running and throwing softball pitch, I believe. Correct, John? Yep. So he's excited. So, um, hey, I know it's been a while since you guys have seen us. Things have been pretty crazy. Um, life just gets in the way sometimes, as you all know. So, well, let's see what we can get into today. And um, I don't know, maybe afterwards we might be doing something too. I'm not sure yet. All right, why don't you come along? Okay, we made it here and there is a line of cars there's that parking lot there's full that parking lot there's full and then behind me is filling up so let's see what we get into okay we're in our seat now okay so we were just kicked out of our seat because we were told that where we were sitting was for the dignitaries and the lady was quite rude. We don't expect much out of this. Warm out today. Oh, everything's starting. Guard provided by the New York State Police. We have Sergeant Brandon Brigham, Trooper Matt Smith, Trooper Sam Whitaker, and Trooper Chad Beams. Next up, we have the Broome County Celtic Celtic Pipe and Drum Band under the direction of Drum Major Mark Donovan, Pipe Major Steve Cole, Drum Sergeant Wally Joe Webster. And right behind them, you might recognize some of the local mascots. We have Devil Dog from the Binghamton Devils. <laughs> Assistant Community, or, and I should say walking the dog, is Robbie Hess, Assistant Community Relations Account Executive with the Binghamton Devils. And of course, we have Rowdy from the Binghamton, Binghamton Rumble Ponies, accompanied by Adrian Cleverly, Community Relations Assistant for the Rumble Ponies. And starting things off for the teams, the Apple Lake and Team in Yellow. They're accompanied by the competition cheer squad from Owego Free Academy, Lillian Brown. And following them up, next in line, the athletes from Binghamton Bulldogs Club. And they are accompanied by Binghamton Mayor Rich David.
coming through right now dressed in navy blue are the Binghamton Patriots, accompanied by Chris Whalen, Assemblywoman Ricardo's communications director. And here comes John School. Look at that turnout. Absolutely crazy. And next up, we have one of the largest groups. Look at this representation here. These are the Panthers with the Pales, Principal of Bosi's Rebecca Fallon, and their mascot, the Black Panther. John was all the way up front carrying the flag, or the banner. And coming up right behind them, there's the Broome Tioga Bengals. They're accompanied by Broome County Executive Jason Garner. <laughs> Following up next in line in the purple uniforms, here's the Kander Spencer Van Etten, accompanied by former Tri Cities Opera tenor James Carrying the banner. Sam's right there, carrying the banner. And here comes Team Shenango Valley Warriors with Coach Tara Whitaker. Next up, pretty easy to identify, the Harpersville Hornets with New York State Senator Fred Akshar and high school athletes Kim Rusnick, Madison Baker, Morgan Crocker, and Matt Johnson. All of these... Here comes the strongest Wildcat around, the Johnson City Wildcats, accompanied by Johnson City Mayor Greg Deamy and high school athletes, David Kennedy, baseball, football, and wrestling, Jake Harding, also baseball and football, but include basketball in that, Sierra Saunders, lacrosse, indoor track, Claudia Van Dyke, track, football, and basketball, and Han Campantara, soccer, indoor track as the mascot, Go Wildcats, go! Right behind them, the Kirkwood Sabres along with Reverend Janet Abel from First Congregational Church of Banton. Next on the pipeline, here comes Maine and Well Spartans accompanied by coaches Patty Surgeon and Stacy Spaulding. And dressed in red, here we come with the Newark Valley Cardinals, accompanied by Brooke Boone County Sheriff's Motorcycle Deputy Mike Kelly and K-9 Officer Bambi. And right behind Newark Valley, here comes Nor the Norwich Vipers. They're wearing gray with coach Denise Bailey and Helen Schatz from Boone, DDRO, Region 2. And let's now welcome our friends from Pathfinder Village with Bill Berube. Holly Belvig and Jean Watson, Wilson, excuse me, of DDPS4. And coming next, we have Springbrook along with their coach, Philby. And you might recognize the guy last in line. That, that would be my co worker, the guy looking around like he's lost right now. That's WBNG meteorologist Nathan Hopper. And 
coming up next. Here we have the Tioga TNT. That's a great name. This team trains in the Tioga Central School District, and they're accompanied by Broome County Sheriff Sergeant Sam Davis. Coming right behind them, Tracy Creek. They have royal blue jerseys on with coaches Kelly Singer and Michelle Mann. And coming up right now, another gigantic and well-represented team here. We have the Mighty Bears from Vestal with Vestal High School athletes, along with their mascot, the Golden Bear. And here comes the last team to march in today's parade. Yeah, they might be small in size, but let me tell you, they have some of the biggest competition in them in this competition. And of course, that goes along with almighty cuteness. Wearing line green, they are the Mighty Mites, accompanied by their coaches, Robin Spencer Foote and Chelsea Hinman. Who says you can't have fun? Even a mascot for having a good time. And that is going to complete our parade of athletes. Let's give them all one gigantic big hand and remember to wish them the very best in today's competitions. Who says you can't have fun? Even a mascot for having a good time. That is going to complete our parade of athletes. Let's give them all one gigantic big hand and remember to wish them the very best in today's competitions. As we begin this day of friendly competition, let us take a moment to pray. Oh Lord, watch over our athletes today. Give them courage and confidence to do their best Fill them with a spirit of fair play. Make them gracious in winning. Make them brave and proud in their attempts. Give them the joy of your kingdom where everyone's gifts are honored and celebrated. Keep them safe and strong under your protective care. We ask this in your name. Amen. 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 Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Yeah. All right! Good morning, special.
Special Olympics. What a great day, is it not, Rowan? Thank you for that good advice you gave us. Give Rowan a round of applause. It's certainly a beautiful day, and I say this with the utmost sincerity. I do a lot of traveling in my new job, and today is the greatest day of my life. It truly is, when I travel all year long. Thank you to the volunteers, to the parents, to the staff. Give everybody who makes this event a huge round of applause. I'm looking out in the crowd and I see my girl Juice. Juice is out in the crowd. Juice, step up! <laughs> After a great man, Senator Tom Libis, and he taught me about this family, and it truly is a family, but Juice taught me something too. Juice, I want you to turn around. I want everybody to put their hearts up in the air, all right, like this. Right, I love, we love you all. Everybody standing up here, and Senator Libis loves you all. Juice, I love you. Thank you for teaching me that. It's very, very important. Give Juice a round of applause. Yeah, Juice. <laughs> One last really cool announcement. I was, I was given this information as I was walking around the track. We have a gentleman amongst us who's been coming to the Special Olympics for 30 years. 30 years. Chuck Coach, step out, baby. Get, give him an applause. Yeah, big Chuck. All right, buddy. Yes. So there are a lot of elected officials up here. We're from different political persuasions, but we all agree on one thing. Regardless of ability, everybody should have the opportunity to succeed, and we're doing that here today. Good luck to everybody. God bless you all. Where's John? He's right. This year, New York State Senator Fred Akshar, he is going to be the one to read the Before special Before we do the oath, I want to, uh, as we did last year, Senator Libis is way up top here looking down on everybody. I told you earlier that he loves everyone. I want to give Senator Libis a big whoop. Remember how to do the Libis whoop? We're going to put our arms up in the air, and on the count of three, we're going to say whoop, whoop, whoop. Is everybody ready? One, two, three. Woo, woo, woo. One more time. Woo, woo, woo. All right, everybody. I want you to repeat after me the Special Olympics athlete athletes oath. Oath. Let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Good luck, everybody. Have fun and remember, smile. The torch will start off with Appalachian A-Team, passed then to the Binghamton Bulldogs, on to Binghamton Patriots, Bosey's Panthers, Prune Tioga Bengals, Kander, Spencer. We're getting ready to start the 1500 meter here very shortly. This is Johns, he's gonna be doing softball throw. Coming up, yep, this is the uh, organized chaos. <laughs> Gotta hand it to these volunteers though, they know what they're doing. Okay, John's lining up now. He's going to be doing his running. So we're just waiting. That's a train coming by if you guys can't hear it. And here he comes. Here he comes. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Yeah, he did it. He got second. Good job, John. John got second place. Way to go, John. John's getting ready to do the softball throw. That's where they throw the softball, and whoever throws it the furthest gets first, second, third. I think they believe they get three chances. They throw it right down the field here. And these folks in the orange are the uh, volunteers, and they mark where they go and who wins. Let's see what he does. Okay, it's John's turn. Nice. 
Good job, John. Here we go, folks. John got second place. Good job, John. John did it. He got second yeah. place in everything he did today. It was He's awesome. So proud of himself. Good job, John. Thank you. Yeah. Good job, John. We knew he could do it. Never had a doubt in our mind. Okay, guys. Well, that was the 2018 Special Olympics for Broome County, New York. We had a great time. John got second place twice. Both of his events. What do you think, Kyle? Did you have fun? Yeah. I'm so happy they had great weather for today. Yeah, it's always great weather here. Um, I don't think we've ever really run into too many times when it's been crappy at all. Great. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom. Subscribe. Let your friends know. And we'll talk to you soon. Oh yeah, just to let you know, we'll have another vlog coming up soon, so uh, be looking for it. Ooh. We love you. Bye. Bye.